<laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, hi, Alexa. How are you today? Are you crying? Uh, yes, I was just thinking... Oh, uh, yeah, I was thinking about how everyone remembers the band who kept playing on the Titanic, but no one ever honors the chef who kept making omelettes. It's the end, boys. We've done our duty. We can go now. What do you say to an encore? Get your omelets here! We're all gonna fucking die! Heroes, every last one of them. Yeah. So what's the lesson for today? Dancing. Okay. Initiating intro sequence. How's my hair? Fine. Hello and welcome to Historical. I'm your host, Bradbury Strumworth. Dance is a form of art that is made by purposely recreating particular sequences of motion which can be used for aesthetic purposes or that of symbolic significance to a particular culture. The earliest findings we have uncovered of the origins of dancing is the 9,000-year-old Indian cave paintings that depict as well as what appears to be figures dancing but also imagery of hunting, childbirth, rituals, and burials. Hey there! Hey, do you come here often? That's cool. Dance, in some cultures, goes hand in hand with that of the oral tradition, as it is used as a means of storytelling through interpretive dance moves, like that of the Polynesian or Hawaiian cultures, to tell tales of great kings or battles, or that of Yoko Ono, when she needs more attention. As well as an act of beauty, dance can be used as a way of intimidation, where famously the New Zealand hacker was formerly employed before battle, is now used before games such as rugby matches, and loosely translates to, Hey there, fella. We're rude dudes. Run away now, unless you're cruising for a bruising guy. Dancing can even be found in the animal kingdom, as it is observed in species for mating rituals, and even bees use it as a basic form of communication. My mom's dead? Yeah, pretty much. Sorry about that. There's even footage of dance captured in the wild of the Indian black bear and the English brown bear. And although continents away, they are strikingly similar. As you can see, the styles are uncanny. But what does it mean? Dance trends throughout most of history can be more or less traced with a continuous straight line, starting in ancient Greece with the Dithyram to honor Dionysus, continuing into Roman times, where they co-mingled dance with group sex as a testament to their ability to coordinate, all dance dance evolution ceasing in the Middle Ages because the church said, stop that now, skeletons are only allowed, to be picked up again in the Renaissance, with the slow dances of the Bassa dance, the Pavane, and Almain, to the fast and lively dances of the Galliard, Coranto, and Canario, culminating in the early modern period dances of the Minuet, the Waltz, Regency, Cotillard, and quadrille until it went to the new world and turned to shit with the barn dance, square dance, and hoot nanny respectively. A notable story being from the first quadrille at Almack, where the Marquis of Worcester and Lady Worcester attended and were cut in by Lady Jersey and that dickhead clan Ronald McDonald. No relation. And he was all like, Mind if I cut in? <laughs> and she was all like, Ugh. <laughs> Okay. Whereupon he kissed her goddamn hand right in front of his face. What a cuck. Here is a list of my favorite, I mean, uh, popular dances. Not in a particular order, but in what's most fun to say. The cha-cha, the can-can, the conga, the whip, the nene, the doo-wop, the Irish, the charleston, the stanky leg, the duggy, the fortnight, and the worm. That was very difficult to draw with a crayon. Although dancing requires strength, stamina, rhythm, and coordination, there's some who view it as an inappropriate pursuit for a young man. Oh, yeah, ballet, ballet, fuck, yeah, ballet, ballet, I'm doing ballet, ballet, Brad, Barry, ballet, ballet. I thought I'd find you here. Father, prancing around like a little sissy. I am not a sissy, father. It's actually really hard. I bet you are really hard. For boys, get back to the history lessons, Bradbury. At least that's something you're halfway good at. Bradbury. Yeah? Would you like to dance? Alexa, play royalty-free inspirational music.
Oh, shit.